It only takes one breath to get all that water in your lungs for an accident to happen quickly. Just as a multi-day heat wave starts rolling in, swim times at Vancouver's pools are getting shortened and drop-in dips cancelled. There's a lifeguard shortage across North America and it's now hitting Vancouver. Just about to start her shift here at Vancouver's Renfrew Park Pool, aquatic leader and lifeguard Hilary Feliciano says aquatic programs and courses have been pared down. There's a huge demand for swimming lessons, but we are basically doing a fraction of the amount we were doing previous to COVID. Um, and that's just swimming lessons. So there's also the actual life-saving and lifeguarding courses that have not been running as well. Erica McDonald with the Vancouver Park Board says it's offered nine lifeguard certification classes this year, which the Provincial Lifeguarding Authority says is a healthy number. McDonald says COVID restrictions slowed down the process over the last two years, and that's part of what's affecting lifeguarding across the continent. One third of all public pools in the U.S. are expected to close this summer because of shortages, according to the American Lifeguard Association. But when it comes to certification of lifeguards, it's you know it can be a multi-year process because you have multiple levels to get. There's a backlog of getting people recertified because of the COVID restrictions. And now that we're out of those restrictions, just getting the backlog of people who need to get recertified or newly certified. The park board has reduced capacity at pools, so fewer guards are needed on deck. Kids Pool reopened last weekend after months of repairs, but public swim times are limited because of staffing. Uh, at this point, we hope to still have drop-ins, but it depends every day on how many guards sign in to work. Feliciano says the beaches are understaffed and some people will be swimming unguarded. If someone's drowning, um, definitely don't go in, especially if you're not trained. You can make it so much more worse if you go in there and you're not a strong swimmer, let's say, and then the other person is trying to grab you and float on top of you. She says it's best to find a floating aid to throw to a swimmer in distress until you can find someone who is able to help. Parents with like young children who kind of just let them play along on the sand. It's actually better to just be within arm's reach, be close enough that like in case it does happen, you can go and quickly get them. In Vancouver, Kirjunos, City News.